Hey everybody, I'm back with another quick video. Just thought I'd make this one since we are back in New York uh, visiting our family home where we have this particular grafted trifolia orange tree and uh, I thought it would be nice to do kind of like a pre-winter update just because this will be the first winter seeing how some of these grafts fare. I have a lot of confidence in them. There's one in particular that is less hardy than the rest so we'll kind of talk over that and see how this tree has changed since the last update we did. So just getting a little closer here, we can see there's a lot of vigorous growth here. Uh, this tree really took off. I mean, we got maybe two feet of growth all around. Uh, it was pruned pretty severely the past year. And then this year we grafted, uh, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, there's probably six different grafts done here, most of which are trifoliate orange and a particular variety that we found that we thought tasted pretty good, had good fruit quality, the fruits didn't really discolor much. It was a good trifoliate orange variety. But up here in this right corner, you can kind of tell by the different leaves here, and let's see if we get those a little closer. So this, this branch looks a little different than the rest. That is actually a Dunstan Citramello. I had them mixed up when I grafted these. I thought it was a Citradia. I do have Citradia grafting material, but this is a Dunstan Citramello. All the better, personally. I did prefer the Dunstan Citramello's taste. So we will see how it fares in New York Zone 7B, because apparently a lot of places got rezoned. I thought this was 7A. It was 7A. Now it is 7B. So maybe that'll uh, kind of better our chances knowing that the winters on average have been warmer than they used to be. But Dunstan Citramella, we'll see how it does high grafted onto this trifoliate. Uh, it's maybe about three feet off the ground, but we can see if we get up close here. Will that focus? Let's see if I put my hand behind that. There we go. So the grafts healed very nicely. There's another one here. This one is just trifoliate orange and they just look like they're part of the tree now. And you can see from this graft, we have all this growth right there. And same thing, there's, uh, let's see, this was actually another graft right next to it here. And that's really shot up too, right up to there. A lot of these I kind of supported with some bamboo stakes here just to keep them growing straight, otherwise the tree was kind of weeping downwards. But you could tell the tree's going into dormancy the trifoliate orange is losing some of its leaves there, turning yellow and falling off. Um, and the Dunstan Citramello so far has not shown any change of color. It's just this nice dark green, has these really thick, fragrant leaves. I'm excited and hopefully this variety survives and we can see some awesome grapefruit-sized fruit on this here in New York, which would be pretty amazing. So that's the quick little update. Oh. One thing I forgot just as I'm backing up and seeing here, we've got what looks like could be fruiting buds. The thing is I grafted this trifoliate because it was a seedling and I didn't know how many years more we'd have to wait till we see what kind of fruit this puts out. So I grafted it with a trifoliate orange variety that we found already. So on all these branches we put that there, that way we could get fruit maybe a year or two sooner than we otherwise would. So. Hopefully that means we'll see some flowers and fruit on this next year, which would be amazing because this tree is probably only as tall as me. Maybe this tallest branch here has a couple inches on me, but you're looking at just shy of six feet uh, for this tree here. So excited to see how it fares this winter. Let's see how that citramello graft does. And uh, I will update you guys next time with the progress and, and some winter lows so we can see what kind of low temperatures this tree can survive as a whole and what that graft can survive too. All right, so hope you guys enjoy. See you next time.